Hello, welcome back to Rightway Gaming. Um, today I'm going to bring something a little bit different. Reason behind it is because, well, it's a game I enjoy playing. As you can see on the right, I've made a few characters in the past and I've played a fair bit of it myself. And yeah, it's just a good game to play and I am a Digimon fan in personally as well. I've always tried to get into the Digimon series um, on my channel but just never got around to doing it. But yeah, today we're going to do that. We're going to do some Digimon World Online and we're going to... No, sorry, Digimon World Online. It's not even called that. It's called Digi Digimon Masters Online. And it is free to play, guys. So if you're interested in playing it, then by all means, just download it and play. So we're going to get started. So obviously we have to create a new character. I'm not going to do any of these because I want to, you know, do a bit of a playthrough with you guys and just take it step by step slowly as we go. Now, you basically choose one of these four characters. Um, you don't really get to customise it, which I know is a bit of a pain. Um, I'm going to go with this dude here. Should I go with this dude? Yeah, I'm going to go with this dude. And we're going to just call ourselves the usual. Uh, I'm just going to put that at the end. It's a prefix so people know. There we go. Great. And then you get a choice of four Digimon. Yeah, you got Falcomon, you've got Gaumon, we have Lalamon, uh, interesting, and then you have Agumon, of course. Um, now, I'm going to go with Agumon because he's my favourite Digimon and he's obviously the most famous one. Um, and I am going to just call him Agumon. I don't need to name him anything special for now. And create. That is it guys, as you can see it comes up with level 1 and level 1 Digimon and it jumps you straight in to the game. Nice and easy. Uh, so as you can tell when we open up uh, there will be a tutorial and basically you just follow it through. So we'll do that. So can you double click me have an explanation mark above my head. That will give you a quest, you want to click on that and you want to accept it. Now you can complete him, to speak to him to complete the quest, in turn you'll get this. You cannot use it well in the tutorial, okay fair enough. So then you need to click him again, movement tutorial, accept, and it's telling us to use the W, A, S and D keys to move to different areas, pretty self explanatory. Movement tutorial, yeah thank you very much. Searching for NPC, yep. So that teaches you about the map. Bring up the map, and if you click NPC, tutorial chase, and it'll show you there on the map that that's where he is. So you then just follow the map. Da -de -da -de -da. If they don't move the fastest, I'll give them that. But you can see he's over there. Ah, level one and level one. That's just the beginning, guys. Don't be hasty. There we are. Explanation mark. Searching for an NPC. Complete. Let's set the quest, and we will. Let's start it. There we go. So again, we want to open up the map. We want to find a monster, and we want to find the wormmon. Which again is. Just pretty easy, it's straight ahead of us. You can even click on it if you want. There's a few of them. There you are, see? I'm just gonna use baby flame to destroy that thing. I don't think you actually get anything for doing it. You can get stuff sometimes, but yeah. So you press the F1 keys and the F2 keys to use like special abilities, but it does deplete your Digimon's. Don't know what you can call it really. Let's start a battle. Yep, yeah, we've completed that. Now what? Now you can see a gate. You can escape the underpass over the gate. Okay. Hello, stop there. You can't run away anymore. Yep, what are you trying to say?
Right, so from the sounds of that, um, Digimon are um, kind of like illegal unless you have a pass or some something like that. So if you possess one, you will be chased and hunted down. <laughs> That's basically what. So from what I remember, there is different areas that you can enter. I mean, he's got a V-Man. There's another few things as well that really get interesting in terms of raising Digimon. I mean, they can be different sizes and stuff like that. It's really interesting. Right, what's this? Battle tutorial from your Div Digibus. Right, there we go. So, quests pop up in the right hand side there, as you can see. Um, so, let's just see if we can find where the Argumon are. What's this? Defeat Argumon. Right, where are we? Well, you're right, so it's basically down here. Defeat the monster by using skill. Alright, yeah, so you can see him here. There we go. We'll learn how to battle, yeah. Oh, we got something for it as well. What was that that it gave us? Oh, we've got an Argumon seal. Now, they're interesting, so we probably do want to keep them. Let's do a bit of um, learn how to battle here. Yeah. just want to see if these Argumon drop anything else. It's alright though, because it does give us XP as well. Oh no, these guys don't give us XP. I, wanted, I was going to try and fight him, but you know what, if I remember rightly. It will destroy us because it's a champion. Right, there we go. Right, and there it is. And we got that. That's good. It's going to return. Oh, let's turn off scanner return items. Report back to me after the following giving instruction on the window to flash at your screen. Let's talk with two. Alright, uh, there we are. Right, there it is. This guy. I think you right click, that's it, and then OK. And there you go, it gives you them. And then if you turn item, we do that, and it gives you money, if I'm right. Yep. Uh, scan and return complete. Let's hatch a Digimon. OK, interesting, interesting. How do I do that? Oh, there we go. Let's hatch a Digimon. Create a mercenary. Oh, we got a Kundamon. Click load data input. Increase until which is. Right, so you have to basically increase it to level 3, which is why they give you 3. Uh, pieces of data and then it will let you hatch it but it'll mean that you can only get like a standard size Digimon that's not going to be as powerful as a level 4 or 5 if I'm understanding correctly but we'll go through this in detail when we can actually access it a little bit more uh, between different, even though you can get another Kunamon, it could have a different Digivolution line. I know that Kunamon does have a Dreamogimon Digivolution line. Um, so that's quite an interesting one. But now we've got two Digimon, which is good because it means that we don't have to just waste up leveling up an Argumon. Right, now what have we got to do? Good, that's another Digimon. What do I do now? Oh, yes. I'll teach you how to reinforce Digimon, except a quiz from the Digivice. That's part of the choice. It's quite obvious you must train your Digimon to grow stronger than others. A Digimon's ability can enhance through several stages of reinforcement. Want to give it a try? Yeah, sure, why not? Alright, click Start button if you are inside of the data center. Okay. I'm confused.
There's a way up. Alright, here we go. That center. Pretty sure we're inside the dat center, but apparently we have to go there. Anyway. My letters. Here we go. Let's just speak to this guy. There we go. You see? That was easy. Right. So click start. Yeah. Digicom will be quick when you press Digicom button. Uh, attack. You can deliver higher normal attack damage and skill damage to an enemy. Block, avoid, critical it. Won't do that. Did you go on? Okay, I'm not too sure what it's doing. Successfully, the Digimon reinforcement ability was changed into Attack 1. Click Exit to escape from outside the data center. Where is Exit? Oh, there. Oh, there we go. Right, there we go. Digimon reinforcement complete. Repair training is over. Good job, Tamer. Here is the final quest to receive a present for your best effort. Tutorial complete. Oh, here we go. So we got a uh, new Dats Agent Avatar Box, Jump Booster, a Mystery Mercenary Digi Egg Level 3, and a Tamer Level 2 Gift Box. Nice. What's this now? We've got another thing to complete. Really? Digimon's level increased to level 2. Right, we should be able to use these now. Yeah, there we go. Believe me, you will need this space. I'll show you how to get even more afterwards. And here is the expansion for the warehouse. Which again, you will need at some point. I don't even know. It just equips a lot of stuff that I don't even know what it does. Didn't recruit to use level two. Okay, fair enough.
Just realised my mic's been muted all this time. Perfect. And I've just got a Coromon seal. Interesting. And how Digimon's level five already? That's. Hilarious. There we go, level three. What's this? Call from Richard Sampson. Bring five DATS badges to me. Which you get from completing missions, if I'm right. right let's open this second trainer box. Which give us another bag and another warehouse. Can't do that yet. That's fair enough. Let's just I'm gonna train both my Digimon up here for a while, so I'll be right back. Two seconds. Alright guys, I'm back. Um as you can see I've been training Kunamon as well, so he's now level eight, as is Hagumon. So I've gone both to level eight. And I just want to explain something, so if you're playing this game you'll notice there's these different coloured names to the same Digimon, as well as certain bracketed Digimon like this. So let me explain. If it's a white, it means you can take them on, they're of average toughness, they're not going to be too hard to defeat but it'll take you a little bit of time. Blue is they're lower level than you, they'll be a little bit weaker and they'll be easier to kill, quicker to kill as well and less XP obviously, and red means harder to kill more XP, less chance to survive, and that is basically it. Now, leaders and thieves, etc., they're also harder to kill and also give you more XP. So if you can find someone that's higher level than you with a bracket name in red, then you're pretty much going to get a decent XP boost. Now, I don't have um, the right level to even try and take on that Woodmon, so we're not going to bother. Now, as you can see, my inventory is getting pretty full because of the amount of leveling that I've been doing. And as you can see, there's also some quests that we can accept. So let's just do that. And it'll give us an idea of what we need to do. Oh, there we go. Right, so there you go. Then it tells you what, what you've got to do. So, Get me the bank robbers to get a DATS badge. Um, we've got no DATS badges yet. Pay a visit to Dorufon in your Koma village. So, I'm hoping. Right, so here you, you can see there is a red level Dumojimon. Now, I'm gonna just do this to boost. So, basically, you get food as well, guys. And this food will replenish your Digimon's DS and HP. Digisol, in other words. So if you use that, it will replenish it and it means you can go on for fighting longer. I mean, just look at that. It's a red level Digimon, but yet we've just used our special F2 ability and it killed him in nearly a couple of seconds. And not only that, but look at the amount of um, XP we got for it. That is a great thing to see. There we go, he's just got up to level 9. So we're going to spend a little bit of time here. The problem we've got is our inventory is running out and we're now going to start getting beast DGX. Which is a way to get low class data guys. Um, but I'll explain all this in a separate video. Probably, you know, because I do like doing guides for you guys. Let's see if we can get to level 10 from fighting these guys. Which mod 
prodigious all do we need? Actually, how much XP are we getting for killing these guys? Yeah, it's not as much as I thought. Alright, let's... Let's just get this mission completed. As you can see, we need to kill three standard Trimorgimon. You do have to click on the items to pick them up as well, guys. Don't know if I've told you that. There we are. There we go. And complete. That's our first darts badge from the looks of it. Let's just take a run through here. And as you can see, there's some uh, Kunamon and some Renemon. I'm going to try and kill the Renemon because I would like a Renemon egg quite early on. Wow, she is destroying. There we go. Got to level 10. Boom. Oh, what's this? Oh, memory chip. Nice. Alright. That's bad just taking around, so we need to defeat one Flymon and one Kunamon. Um, that should be easy enough to do. That's, there we go. And then we should be able to pretty much just one pop these. Completely forgot about that. There we go. Really? Now we've got a Kunamon seal? Wow. There you go, kid. Nailed it for you. Ah, right. Now we know what the problem is. Right. So guys, right, when this happens and you've found that you're getting no room left in your inventory, there's only one option, and that is to go and visit one of these dudes. Is it this one? Yeah, it is. So if you go to Pawn Chessman Black, it'll say Return Item. What you want to do is you want to put in all your like broken eggshell things and just hand them in and you'll get money for it. Um, and then we should be able to also hand these in. And that gave us 100 megabytes by the look of it. Ah right, you know what, I completely screwed that up, you need to scan them. My bad. And we're full. Typical. Right, uh, I need to get to the warehouse, so... Right, let's pick up these. If we wish to move quickly, let's uh, ride Digimon. Digimon Rider. Alright, that's because our inventory is full again. Alright, what's this? Right, mercenary storage, that's not good to us. What's this? Time dimension bomb, really? Right, uh, um, I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm going to do it because we need to. So, jump booster. Oh, okay, right. Can't even do that, guys. I'll be back in two seconds. Right guys, so I'm back. So once you get to the DAT center, which I will show you in the next video how to get there, because um, it's a bit of, bit ahead, you have to get through the quest line, but uh, I've been saving stuff up. Being prepared basically, you can speak to Pawn Chessman White, and you can click storage, and as you can see, it opens up a new warehouse for you. So what you can do is anything you want to keep, such as, keep, such as seals, and stuff you might be able 
not use later on, such as all these. That's why I'm putting these in. Memory chip. That's a digivice. That. Right, there we go. Now we can exit that and we don't have to worry about them because we're, we're pretty much good to go, guys. Right, now, there's something that I noticed. We didn't stick on that digivice. Which now gives us... With that there, it increases... Max HP, 10. So it's basically increased our HP, which is not too bad. Which now means we can get... We can open this here for the rest of the rewards which gives us another warehouse expansion and another inventory expansion and it's give us a portable Digimon archive and a portable scanner which means we don't need to bother with anything irritating only problem is is it does cost to scan these eggs so if you're not in need of anything don't waste your money but as you can see, it mainly gives you food from the grey quality eggs. And by that, I mean if you have a look at the box around outside of the egg, it is like a white or a grey. And if you have a look in the inventory, there's another egg with a green box, which means it's more rare, but still not the rarest. I think blue is the rarest, and I don't know if there's one above that as well. But the reason you want to do this is because these food items restore the HP and the DS of Redigimon which you'll need when you're outside of the data center because it doesn't restore naturally. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. And as you'll see from this green egg, you should get something different. We got some blue tape gloves. Which in all honesty, I have no idea what they do. Portable return, so we can use that as well. So let me do that. No, I'm going to try and link it, but it don't let me do it. All right, yeah, I'll keep them, but for now, I'm going to put them. Oh, not there. Where is it? There he is. Put them in there just until I figure out what I've got to do with them. And this is for a level 6 Tamer, which I am not yet. Oh, scan. Where's the scanner? Let's scan every one of these. Now, this is data, which I've already explained is what you need for eggs, but each one is different. So, dragon, bird, etc why is that doing that you don't have enough money uh oh I don't have money <laughs> which will happen guys so don't worry about it just keep all of the stuff until you do need it right now storage You've, you basically want to just save up any data that you get because believe me hatching level 5 eggs takes a lot of data and a lot of backups Right, there we go. I reckon we'll be good there. Right, guys. Um, I hope that's been a little bit of a nice um, introduction to Digimon Masters Online for you. To in the next video, which should I'm going to try and get up tomorrow, we're going to look at getting our Dats badge and just completing a few missions and trying to show you what happens as you develop through the game because there's a lot more stuff to it and it is a very, very complex game in my eyes in terms of raising different Digimon and more powerful Digimon. So yeah, I'll see you then and uh, hope you've enjoyed watching because I know I've enjoyed playing. Just don't forget to hit that like button, comment below if you've got any questions and subscribe for more. Speak to you soon.